Unity includes a great set of tools for level designing, including the terrain system, which is built into the Unity editor, and also ProBuilder and PolyBrush that are available for download from the package manager for completely free. But one of the great strengths of Unity is how easy it is to build powerful tools to extend the editor and provide specialized workflows for different types of projects. And this is where the asset store becomes incredibly useful. So in this video, we're going to check out five great assets for level designing available in the Unity Asset Store. And the first asset we're going to look at is an asset for creating great looking water in Unity called Aquas, which is created by Dogmatic. Aquas is a powerful and full featured water system that contains a set of 12 flat water shaders for all types of platforms, environments, and games. Aquas is also easy to get started with for beginners because it contains a set of water prefabs and materials which you can simply drag and drop into your scene. We can also customize our water's appearance through the material settings in the inspector window, which makes it possible to achieve a wide range of looks for the water in your game. Aquas also integrates well with a number of other popular asset store products, including Gaia and Enviro. And that brings us to number two, where we're going to take a look at an asset for generating terrains and scenes in Unity called Gaia created by Procedural Worlds. Gaia is an artist-friendly terrain generation system that allows you to create full environments with less work. The asset includes a custom window for Unity called Gaia Manager. This window controls Gaia workflow and configures the Gaia components for using your scene, making it easy to get started. Gaia also allows you to texture, plant, and populate your terrain procedurally using spawners. You can spawn points of interest such as farms, villages, and cemeteries, and you can also create your terrain by stamping mountains, hills, lakes, rivers, and a range of other feature types exactly where you want them. You also get the option to pick if you want to create your terrain manually by using these features, or you could have Gaia randomly generate entire new scenes with just the feature types you want. Gaia also comes with a few environment assets for free, including grasses, textures, Features, rocks, trees, and villages. And the third asset we're going to take a look at is a vegetation placement and rendering system called Vegetation Studio created by Awesome Technologies. Vegetation Studio spawns vegetation on the terrain based on a flexible set of rules. You can use your existing trees, rocks, and grass textures, and rendering is done using instancing and instancing indirect systems in Unity. And this enables the option to use denser vegetation on much larger larger terrains while still retaining your game's performance. We already set up Vegetation Studio here in our scene and it has automatically detected our terrain. Now we are able to modify the settings as we wish to. And now moving on to number four, we're taking a look at an asset called RAM or River Auto Material created by Nature Manufacture. RAM is an advanced river creation tool with automatic flow map. You can customize your river via vertex paint and create connected river networks with lakes, seas, rivers, and swamps. RAM also has a river spline tool that allows you to define where you wish to create a river. You can also scale, move, and rotate any of the river points freely and allow RAM to analyze space to create a river by setting up a single point. RAM also includes eight sets of high quality ground textures with albedo, normal, ambient occlusion, and height maps for river and its borders. You also get a set of river textures with foam and cascades, PBR and non-PBR particle effects, a road material with high quality textures to prototype how you can create roads and more. And last but not least, the fifth asset of this video is a road generation tool called Easy Roads 3D Pro, and specifically version 3 created by Andasoft. Easy Roads allows you to create unique road networks directly in Unity with built-in and mesh-based crossings based on your own models. You can also let it place additional side objects to make your scenes look more alive, such as bridges, guardrails, fences, power lines, and any other type of geometry. Easy Roads also takes care of conforming the terrain to the road shape. You can simply configure the settings of your roads in the road object that you create through the game object menu in Unity, and then pick the type of road it is, assign it a name, modify the width and material, and more. So those were five great assets for level designers in Unity, and we're also going to leave a link to each of them in the description box of this video so you can find them with ease. And hopefully you found this video helpful for finding new assets for your needs, and we look forward to see you in our next video.